The biggest thing that we found that was a barrier was a criminal record. And we have to stop criminalising women for their own abuse. It's an abhorrence that we do that. The women in our study all had criminal records, either for street prostitution offences or for offences relating to prostitution, what we would refer to as breach of the peace, that kind of thing. And there were even some instances of women, when they were girls, being sexually abused, because they were children, by Johns and being criminalised for their own abuse directly. So that was one main barrier, and we dealt with that, which I'll talk about in a minute, um, through the courts. But another one was how long the women had been in prostitution. The longer they had been in, the more difficult it was to get out. One really major barrier is the lack of exiting services, of course. Now, this is ideological as well as a resource issue. The health-funded projects across the UK are very similar to the health-funded projects around the world that deal with this group of women. And that's because they were funded by HIV prevention money in the early days run by gay libertarian men who hold the view that all sex is good sex and that young boys selling sex to older men is just part of gay culture and that women just need a condom and a clean needle if she's a drug user. Many of them, these organisations, want to do exiting work with the women, but the funding isn't there for them. But many of them don't want to do exiting work with the women because they just patch them up and send them back out onto the streets again. Sometimes they go into the brothels and take free condoms and clean towels. Imagine that. The pimps save money. And the women aren't going to say, help me get out when the pimps are there. Every single one of our interviewees told us very clearly that at one stage or another, they had asked if there was something to help them leave. And they were either laughed at or told, well, when you're ready, you'll retire. They would refer to their pimps as their boyfriends. They would refer to the prostitution they were doing in a sanitized fashion, calling it sex work, when the women themselves didn't do that. So they're the big barriers. And then, of course, you have all of the usual other barriers about self-esteem. Um, you know, Rose spoke about this, and Cherry also spoke about it, that when women have been treated as though they are the bottom of the pile, because that's exactly what they are, then this has a major impact on them believing that they will be able to do anything else. <laughs> 